What's good, my Bronco brothers and sisters? It's Tyson, co-founder of Hammerbilt. And today I'm gonna show you guys our brand new modular tire support system. We're gonna get to install our third brake extension and show you the newest accessory bracket that can house a Rotopax fuel canister, an ARP Tread Pro, and even a Max Trax traction board system. One of the biggest weaknesses with our Ford Broncos is the aluminum tailgate. It's designed to be lightweight, but it doesn't have much support, especially for a larger aftermarket tire. In off-road conditions and even driving around town, you may notice the tires shake and squeak. So that's where this modular support system comes into play. It reinforces the entire tailgate and adds a ton of structure to the aftermarket tire that you may have on here, and even a Sasquatch tire will also help eliminate some movement and some squeak from it. Step number one is to remove the factory tire. Now that the tire is off, you're going to use your 13 millimeter socket to remove the factory tire carrier. You're going to want to use a shop rag or a microfiber towel to rest the third brake light on so it doesn't scratch the paint. We'll see here in a second. So you're gonna wanna insert a piece of thick foam to help support the tailgate so when you remove the hinge bolts, it maintains its alignment. One of the most interesting parts of our install process is the use of our conical Delrin spacers. These are gonna isolate the tire support system from the tailgate and make sure that there's no paint marring or nicks or any of that. In addition to the foam, making sure the tailgate doesn't shift during installation, we're gonna wanna remember to only remove the top two hinge bolts before we remove the bottom. We're using a 45 Torx fit to remove these hinge bolts. You're gonna hold the conical spacers here and enlist the help of a friend to hold the plate while we thread these Allen heads through. Now that we've installed the top two bolts loosely, we have enough room here to remove the bottom two and we're holding the alignment of the door and keeping that intact. Now that we have the four Allen head bolts loosely installed, we're going to use the supplied hardware to reinstall the factory tire carrier. Now that the tire carrier is back installed, we're going to tighten up all the hardware and work on installing the third brake light extension. Before the modular tire support system, all of the weight of the spare was resting on the sheet metal of the tailgate. This plate distributes that load and displaces it across the more structural hinges. So that's how we're getting rid of all the squeaks, wobbles, and making sure that we won't damage our tailgate off-road. We designed this arm to mount a variety of accessories. Rotopax tanks, ARB tread pros, we even made an antenna bracket that can hold a WeBoost antenna, a radio antenna, or even a flag or chase light. Now that we have the accessory arm installed, we're ready to install the roto packs and then put the tire back on. We used a T30 Torx bit to remove that part. Last step of the install is to attach your antenna or your flag or your chase light accessory bracket. We're using a WeBoost antenna on ours and we're going to show you how that looks and how that fits. Yeah. 
So that wraps up the installation of the hammer built modular tire support system. We've got extra reinforcement for larger, heavier tires. We've got a mount to attach a roto pax and an ARB tread pro. And we've got an antenna, flag, or even chase light mount. You can find these on our website or feel free to reach out to me on Instagram, Facebook, or call my cell phone, 915-449-0881.